Hello everyone, welcome to another video of Tosk Obstacle List. Today we are going to take a look at 21269, Future Christmas. Let's take a look at the problem statement. So basically they are saying calculate on which day Christmas 25 December falls in two years. Okay. So we have to mention the day. So on 25th December, what day comes? So 2023 is there. So we'll take a look at 2025. What will come? So if it is Wednesday, it should come Friday. So let's go back to Tosca and I'll quickly scan this module. So this is also very easy in case you already know the dedicated uh, command to use. In case not, just think about it. I'm going to explain that in a minute. So I will scan this. I will just make this little bit more dynamic by putting the white card here. Okay. And enter the day is unique. I'll just update this with the obstacle number. So obstacle hashtag 21269. And I will save this. That's all we needed here now it's the whole play of functions so i will drag and drop this to one two six nine to the test cases and i'll rename this two one two six nine okay. so we have to think about what day christmas comes so the day christmas comes is 25th december so we can always use this function date okay date and then what's the format do we use so what's the date okay so the date format will go in this way that 25 dot december dot 2023 okay now whatever offset we need to mention so they are asking for two years so you can use the command plus two y close and then we don't need to pass any other parameter so if i put asterisk uh, sorry the curly brackets here and i click out of it this is going to give me the date for two years in future what is today's date so 20, 25th december 2025 but we need to enter the day here i don't want the date so for that the command is there which is called as l day so if i put a curly brackets here let me show it in this way so if i put a curly brackets here l day or probably in this way so if you put just one or two characters you will be able to see so here if you see l date or l day one second so basically whenever you are trying to use things like this it will showcase you how it works so see l day then date and it comes in square brackets and then you have to close this and it will give you the exact day so what i'll mention is l day here i'll mention and then this date function is ready but in order to make this work i have to put it in a square bracket so i'll put the entire thing in a square bracket and since this has started with curly brackets i have to close the curly brackets okay now in terms of what format to use it in the date that will depend on how the setup is there in your project settings in dosca so in case take a look at that if you are putting any other format and it is not matching with that it is not going to work so if you put the syntax like this and you click out of it if it is coming something like this that means the syntax what you have used is correct let me just quickly re-explain this so l day will give you whatever day on which this particular date falls and we want in future two years we can obviously put directly uh, 2025 as well even that could have worked in that case we would not need the offset so we can approach it in that way as well now let's run this and see if it works in case you're looking for a detailed video on understanding date functions uh, do comment on this video and uh, I'll try to take it up. So we were able to input the date Thursday 
correctly so this solves our automation problem and i we are good to wrap up this video do follow this is a whole series of all the different obstacle list in tosca i hope you like this do like share and subscribe have a great day bye bye